Hey what's up everybody this is Dom and today we are checking out the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 2014 edition. Whew, that is a long name for a tablet but we are going to unbox it here today and do some demos on it, check it out, run a benchmark, see what it's all about. The design of this tablet is very similar when compared to the Note 3 right here and I picked up the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi model which is available for $549 and I'll leave a link down below in the description for that but let's go ahead and check out some of the specs here. This tablet is packing a 10.1 inch display, it's got the Samsung Exynos processor which is actually two processors a 1.9 gigahertz quad core and a 1.3 gigahertz quad core. It's got the S Pen, it's got three gigabytes of RAM and an 8,220 milliamp hour battery with an eight megapixel rear camera and a two megapixel front camera. So let's go ahead and get inside of the box and see what this is all about. We have the same wood grain type look on this box as we do on the Note 3 and the Galaxy Gear. And if you wanna see those videos, I'll be sure to link them down below in the description. So all we have to do to get into the packaging here is pull out our handy dandy box cutter and we just have a couple of stickers to cut here at the top. Let's go ahead and flip it over here real quick so we can pull out the Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 and there it is in all of its glory. Well, hopefully. Let's go ahead and push this guy off to the side though and check out what else comes in the box here. We do have the standard accessories included and I'll pull those out real quick and then we'll take a look at them. So the first thing we have here is a bunch of documentation and I won't really go over all of this and bore you with it but we do have like a registration card. We also have a quick start guide here for the Note 10.1 tablet and then right underneath that we have some information that will help you get set up with the accessories and your accounts and everything like that on the tablet and then finally after all of this stuff we probably have the biggest little booklet I have ever seen come with a tablet in my life. This is the health and safety and warranty guide and it's pretty thick, so if you wanna read it, good for you. The first thing we have here is a micro USB charging cable. As you can see, nothing fancy there. And along with that, we do have a power block that you can use to charge up the tablet in the wall. And finally, we have some extra stylus tips with a little tool to remove the old stylus tip from the S Pen. So let's pull off all of this plastic, and then we can go ahead and check it out here. On the top of the device, we do have a lock button, and then we have our volume rockers. And right in the middle there, we have an IR blaster, which you can use to change channels on your TV and control other compatible devices from the Note tablet here. On the bottom of the device, we have our micro USB charging port. And then to the left of that, we have a teeny little hole, which I believe is a microphone. So you can use S voice and everything like that on the tablet here. On the side of the tablet, we do have our micro SD card slot. And then we have one of two speakers here right on the side. And then we have our S Pen there as well, which as you can see, just pulls out nicely and you can use it to use some of those cool S Pen features and I'll be sure to link those videos that I've done on that down below in the description as well. So let's go ahead and move on and check out the other side of the tablet where we just have a single speaker and a headphone jack, nothing else there. On the front of the device, we do have a home button here and then we have a capacitive back button and a menu button there. And moving up to the top of the device, we just have a Samsung logo with our front camera and the proximity sensor there at the top. Now Samsung actually took a lot of design cues from the Note 3 for the 10.1 2014 edition. As you can see, we have the same kind of fake leather look and the same fake stitching there. It actually just looks like a blown up Note 3, a bigger Note 3, if you will. And we have basically the same design and texture on the back. We even have the same trim around the edges here. So you just have overall the exact same look on these two devices. But let's go ahead and turn this on and then we will kind of check everything out and I'll do a benchmark test for you guys here. So after the tablet has booted up and I finally got everything set up, we can go ahead and jump in here and check out everything. Now, like I said, the first thing I wanna do is run a benchmark test. So let's open up Geekbench 3. And as you can see, we have the specs for the tablet listed right there. All we have to do is tap on the little run benchmarks button. And I'm kinda curious to see how this tablet is going to perform seeing as it's using the same processor as one version of the Note 3 is using, which is the Exynos processor. So let's run this and I'll speed it up for you guys 
guys so you don't have to sit through the entire process. But as you can see here, I'm actually kind of surprised by the results that come up on the tablet. It's 966 single core score and 2645 multi core score. Now this is the Wi-Fi model of this tablet and it's using the Exynos processor like I said earlier and through all the tests I've seen it seems like Note 3's with the Snapdragon processor run a bit faster so I hope that's the case for the Samsung Note 10.1 and that processor will be available in the LTE version of this tablet. So let's go ahead and check out some S Pen features. Now I'm not going to go over all of the S Pen features in this video as I do have a bunch of other videos demonstrating the Air Command menu and all of its features and I'll be sure to link all of those videos down below in the description if you want to check it out but here's just an example this is Action Memos and it gives you the opportunity to write stuff out and then you can actually link it and be able to quickly like add it to a contact or email or search the web things like that and like I said I'll leave links down below for all of these S Pen videos that I've been uploading from the Note 3. So here's another example. We do also have Pen Window where we can draw a quick little window on the screen and be able to open up another application in it. Now I think these kind of features are way more impressive on a tablet because it gives you kind of a computer experience, especially with multi-window here. So we can open up one application and then we can drag and drop another one over the top of that to run two apps at once. Now I think this is extremely useful here on a tablet because you have enough space to really utilize each application. It's almost like having two Nexus 7 side by side or two iPad minis or whatever you want to call it. You have the space of two tablets here in landscape mode, but I just wanted to give you a quick example of multi-window here on the Samsung Note 10.1 2014 edition. I just think the extra screen space really makes this feature shine. So let me know what you think about this tablet down in the comments section below. I'm interested to hear your thoughts on it. Is this something that you will be purchasing? Please let me know and be sure to leave this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it as it does help out my channel a lot. So thanks again for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. This is Dom and have a great day.